Okay, welcome to the Honey You tutorial video. Um, first things first, this one is played with a guitar pick. Okay, it's not three finger or claw hammer style. Um, if you are an electric guitar player, you're probably gonna find this one very easy. And if you are a banjo player, you might find it kind of tricky, okay? So if you're new to guitar picks, the first thing you're gonna want to do is find your preferred gauge or thickness. Uh, for me, I like anything from 0.7 millimeters to uh, 1 millimeter. And if you use the imperial system, you should grow up and use the metric system like an adult. Okay, so uh, pay close attention to these symbols. This here is a down pick, uh, which means the pick is moving down away from your head. And this here is an up pick, which means the pick is moving up towards your head. Uh, pay very close attention to those two symbols and follow them at all times. Uh, the more you can get used to alternate picking, which is going back and forth between down strokes and up strokes fluidly, uh, the faster your picking is going to be. Okay. Uh, pay attention to this. Uh, this means palm muting. So palm muting, uh, again, electric guitar players are going to be very familiar with this technique, uh, but all you're doing with palm muting is you're going to take your right palm and place it on the bridge or maybe slightly above the bridge on the strings. Okay. So without palm muting, uh, the banjo sounds like this. Okay. And when I place my palm on the strings and play the same thing, gives it that muted effect. Okay, uh, I use this technique during Danny's cello solo part in this song. Uh, there are a lot of repeat symbols on the tab for this one. For the tutorial video, I'm just gonna go right through them. Uh, the repeat symbols are just there to tell you how many times to play each part, or you could just listen to the song and then you'll know the structure. So this one is uh, divided into three parts. I'm going to do uh, the cello solo part, the uh, banjo solo, and then the final chorus. I'm not going to bother with the verse. Uh, the first verse of this song is just slow chord strums like this. Okay, if you cannot do slow chord strums, uh, you are useless and you should give up. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you can't yet do slow chord strums, uh, if it's taking your left hand a little while, uh, you need to get to a point where changing chords with the left hand just becomes second nature. You want to be able to do it in your sleep. Um, and if you're not there yet, then this video is going to be too advanced. So just keep practicing that and come back to this video later. So I'm going to do the cello solo part at two tempos because it's already uh, kind of a slower, slower part. I'm going to do the banjo solo and the final chorus at three tempos because uh, it's very fast picking in those parts, okay? And I believe that's all I need to yammer about, so please enjoy.
That's it. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I love talking banjo. Uh, just make sure you find me on Instagram and send me a message. I don't follow the YouTube comments at all. So if you're asking me questions in the YouTube comments, chances are very high that I'm not even going to see it. Okay, so find me on Instagram at the Colton Crawford and stay tuned for more. Thank you.